Hey everyone, so today I wanted to do a video similar to the one I did about getting your period and my whole experience with that and just kind of my advice and thoughts on the whole situation. I had a lot of really great feedback from that video. Definitely some really great discussion in the comments from people giving advice and asking questions and other girls answering. And overall, it just really made me realize how much I love doing videos about topics that I kind of think are important or at least things that people have a lot of questions about, people have a lot of opinions about, and other people can kind of share share and inspire and give different thoughts and views on things and that's really what I love about YouTube is when everyone comments and kind of gives their own ideas and it really can just kind of spread the idea. So today I'm going to be talking about something a little controversial but honestly I think it's not that controversial because I think to each person this is a very private, special, just very sacred thing and I think you know, talking about it, maybe hearing what I have to think about it, what I have to say about it, it might help you out because I'm not someone directly related to you and I'm someone that you can kind of listen to my advice and stuff but I'm not judging you, I'm not telling you the right or wrong thing to do. So first of all, I have had a ton of questions from girls. A lot of girls said, can you do a video about sex, losing your virginity, having sex for the first time, all that stuff. And the main thing that I want you guys to take away from this video is that is a very, very personal thing. It's a very personal decision and I don't think anyone should tell you when is the right or the wrong time to do that because it literally all comes down to you. So that's kind of the most important thing to remember, first of all. Second most important thing to remember is that's very, very private. And, you know, like I'm going to be talking about it today, I think just remember that it's something very, very private to you and you really shouldn't ever feel like you have to share what you have done or haven't done with people. I know in high school there was a ton of pressure just to talk about sex and talk about who was hooking up and that kind of stuff. And I remember a lot of people saying they felt really pressured and kind of influenced maybe by their friends and just by other people just because there was so much gossip and talk about it. And it just kind of made me feel... I guess sad and uncomfortable because I think a lot of people did kind of fall into maybe doing things that they thought were like the cool thing to do or they thought everyone was doing it and you know I think if people maybe hadn't been talking about it maybe that wouldn't have happened to different people. I've had a lot of girls say you know my boyfriend really wants me to have sex with him I'm feeling kind of pressured to do this and he, you know, he says he really loves me blah 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 and I think the biggest thing is if you're in a relationship with someone and they are making you feel uncomfortable or they're rushing you or just pushing you to do something number one that is not a healthy good relationship that is really um, kind of toxic to have people in your life that are pushing you to do things that are very personal and a very personal decision that you should be able to make for yourself and not have someone else influence you and I think definitely it's sad because I've even had friends that have maybe kind of fallen into getting pressured to being with a boy um, I've had friends that thought if they sleep with a boy then he'll want to stay with them forever or whatever and and sometimes you know that can happen but sometimes it doesn't end up happening I've seen so many girls go through heartache because they felt like a guy told them to do something and they did it and then it just didn't work out well in the end so I think the biggest thing is is if someone truly cares about you and they truly have the best intentions for you and they love you they're not going to be pushing you to do something that you don't want to do and if you make it very clear you know what your boundaries are what you're comfortable with what you're not comfortable with and they don't respect that, then they're not respecting you and that's really not a good relationship to be in. That might seem blunt or harsh, but honestly it'll save you so much heartache if you take that into consideration because your body is so special and you are in charge of your body. So I really hope that this is empowering and lets you know that you have the power to decide for yourself. Granted, if you want to have sex and stuff and you want to do all of that, also I don't think you should let other people make you feel bad or put you down for it. Of course, be safe and use preventative measures so you don't don't get pregnant or get diseases but you also need to make sure that you're not only physically ready by having um, you know contraceptives and by you also need to be emotionally ready because I think a lot of girls maybe rush into it or do it because they want to get over with that's something I've heard a lot which just really saddens me because I don't think losing your virginity or being sexual or doing something like that for your first time is something you should have to feel like you're in a race with other people or feel like you have to get done. It's definitely something that should just happen naturally and comfortably and when the time is right for you and I think that's the biggest thing. Just try not to fall into the peer pressure of other people because a lot of times if it seems like everyone's doing it you know people may just be saying stuff to try to fit in or say stuff to not stand out and I think the thing that is most attractive and just most 
I guess admirable in someone is someone that sticks to their own morals and values and doesn't let other people influence them. So I really hope that we can have a discussion about this because like I said, the biggest thing is just stay true to yourself and respect your body and respect other people's bodies and their choices and opinions as well. So I really hope that other girls can comment below. You can even leave stories or thoughts on this subject. I just know it's a very common thing that girls go through and maybe it's hard to find someone to talk to you about this. I know it can be hard to talk to your mom or a friend, so I hope that you guys can see me as someone that won't judge you, but will be here for you and talk it through with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like these videos about more real life topics and leave me any requests you have below.